How to invest in Swiss stock market? I received many calls. People want to know how to invest in Swiss stock market. The Swiss stock market didn't perform exceptionally, but it's a very good idea to invest in the Swiss stock market. And very few people know why it is so important to invest in the Swiss stock market in the Swiss franc, especially in the Swiss francs. Diversification also, including the Swiss stock market, is a good idea. And why this is so important? This video will give you the answer. Stay tuned! Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. Hello, my name is Enzo Caputo. I am the Swiss banking lawyer with SwissBankingLawyers.com, the blog where international business people find tips and solutions to better protect their assets with Swiss banks and to pay less tax. Today, it's a great pleasure having Olivier Schedel with me. He's a very experienced asset manager and uh, he's an expert. He's an old fox. He knows how to invest in Swiss stock in the Swiss stock market. Tell us why it's so important to diversify your investment also in the Swiss stock market, despite that the performance was not that exceptional this year. Well, thank you, Enzo, for inviting me first. Great pleasure. And I will try to answer uh, your questions and give you a little bit of insight what the Swiss stock market uh, might offer to international investors. Yeah. First of all, um, Switzerland is a very small country. We got 8 million people uh, living here, nothing compared to the US, to Germany, Italy, and so on. However, our stock market is by far bigger than a lot of other European stock markets. Uh, so despite being a small uh, a country, we have a very powerful uh, um, uh, uh, stock market. The stock market in Switzerland is worth right now 1.6 trillion dollars. As a comparison, Germany is 10 times bigger, but their Deutsche Börse market cap is only 1.8, so 200 billion bigger than uh, the Swiss one. Uh, that's actually quite um, uh, astonishing. Yeah. And the Swiss stock market is much bigger than the Italian uh, uh, or, or the Spanish ones. Yeah. Um, why is this so? Um, it has historic uh, reasons. First of all, we have a few powerhouses yeah. in Switzerland. Everybody knows Nestle, Novartis and Roche. These three world companies are all based in Switzerland and have been based for over a century for, for some yeah. and make up about 50% of the market capitalization of the Swiss stock market. Yeah. Um, this is actually very reassuring to know that you have some, some big powerhouses. However, for so long time, for, for so, so long time, time, that means stability, stability, right. reliability. So you invest in stability and reliability. But and then you have, um, you have some other world companies yeah. which are smaller, yeah. which are all in our index, which you can buy and which make up the, the performance of, uh, of the Swiss stock market. Zurich Insurance. Swiss Re, Swiss Re is the second biggest in the world. Yeah. Lafarge Holcim is the largest, largest cement producer in the world. Yeah. Um, and ABB is one of the leaders in robotics uh, worldwide and, and, and uh, uh, specialized machinery. Innovation, innovation. Switzerland is famous for innovation as being yes. the most innovative country. So, and Absolutely. why the Swiss stock market, they have such nice companies and why they didn't performed that much last year. You well, know, you told me before, you know, it, you have to consider yes. the arguments behind. Let's get back to 2020 okay. because it's a good example. Which yeah. stock markets did well? America did well, but not everything in America. The Nasdaq did extremely well. Yeah. Uh, why? Because the technology stocks, they were sought after. Everybody wanted tech stocks. And of course, with the COVID crisis, Everything which is uh, enhancing remote working procedures, uh, that was uh, the, the flavor of the day. Yeah. Um, so those people who invested in, uh, in the NASDAQ, 
or in uh, uh, Chinese tech stocks, huh? Alibaba, Baidu, all these, they yeah. did extremely well. Yeah. Unfortunately, Europe has not many of these of this type of companies. Yeah. You got SAP, yeah. which is probably the biggest name in Germany. Yeah. Um, but in Switzerland, um, you have a few, but they are smaller companies. Temenos, the uh, Temenos does banking software, world leader. Yeah. But banking software is not comparable to Elon Musk's Tesla, yeah. right? Yeah. So um, the Swiss stock market is seen as a defensive stock market. Now, if you expect a crash sometime in the next uh, uh, year or so, the Swiss stock market would probably resist a lot better than some other stock market. So it's a hedge. The Swiss stock market is, is a, hedge a hedge because it is very interesting. With the Swiss stock market, you consider the Swiss francs. You have to invest in Swiss francs also. Makes yes. an important role. Can you explain a little bit about the connection, the Swiss stock market and Swiss francs? Yes, um, absolutely. The, the Swiss franc, uh, Switzerland has done one very good thing. They always kept the Swiss franc. Um, we are happy not being part, nor the European Union, nor the uh, Euro, because we want to keep our independence. We have, of course, very strong ties to Europe, yeah. but to keep your own currency, like did the British, I think is a very important element uh, uh, in that. Now, the Swiss franc has been the hardest currency, the most successful currency for the last, what, 70 years after the Second World War. I give you one or two examples. Um, it cost you four francs and 30 centimes to buy one dollar in the early 70s. Yeah, right now we're at 88 cents. So that's a drop of the dollar compared to the Swiss franc of about 90%. Unbelievable, 90% lost, just lost. So that's why investment in Swiss franc. A few years yeah. back, yeah. With the uh, euro the you same. needed, uh, exactly, you needed one franc 30 to buy one euro. And now it's 108. Yeah. And the tendency is towards Parity. Yes, when they introduced so, the euro, the euro cost one Swiss franc 72 cents. Now the euro is one Swiss franc and seven cents. So the I euro lost 40% against the Swiss francs. I told a client, uh, I think it was March, yeah. something like this. So the COVID crisis, the stock market, everything was already in full swing. Uh, and I, I told him, uh, and, and the parity, we had parity between dollars and Swiss francs. This was uh, a US no. client, what kind of no, parity uh, was? It was a client from Ireland. Yeah. I told him, put at least 15% of what you have, he, he was uh, only a dollar uh, investor, into Swiss francs. Yeah. And he did not. He said, yeah, you know, the dollar is a dollar and so on. Yeah. He would have earned uh, uh, 150,000 just on a million five, he, I told him to invest into Swiss francs. Yeah. He did not. And I think it's, it's about diversification. First of all, you need a little bit of Swiss franc. Swiss franc is one of the few currencies which are internationally traded, very liquid. Uh, and, and it has its place in any portfolio. You need a Swiss franc, absolutely. Also for confidential reasons. If you want to execute the confidential transactions, you should do it in Swiss franc and avoid US dollar transaction and transaction means euro. The confidentiality factor is, a, is a very valuable. Correct? If you do transaction in Swiss franc, the Swiss franc transaction goes from Switzerland to Switzerland. If you do a euro transaction, it goes to Frankfurt and then uh, to the receiver. If you do a dollar transaction, it goes to New York and then to the receiver. So if you do Swiss franc to Swiss franc transaction, you have a high probability that the counterparty has also a Swiss bank account. So you can do a very confidential transaction. So the most confidential transactions have to be done in Swiss francs. This is also uh, an advantage, but there are other advantages of Swiss francs. Why should uh, international investors in consider the Swiss stock market and right. invest in uh, I will tell Swiss you another franc. element. Yeah. Um, the fact that the Swiss franc is the hardest, most sought for currency in the world yeah. makes it actually very difficult for the Swiss industry to export. We're such a small market. We need 
to export into China, into Asia, into the US and the rest of Europe, which means that we have to compete at every moment with currencies which getting weaker. So with a Somebody. very expensive Swiss franc. So, yeah. so the Swiss industry is get more expensive. Get more, very expensive products. So it's very hard to survive that. And that's why also the National Bank is helping the Swiss exportation industry, keeping the Swiss franc low as possibly as low as, as low as possible. But if the Swiss National Bank would not help the Swiss franc, the, the real value of the Swiss franc is even much higher. So an investment in Swiss franc in the Swiss stock market should be considered every investor, international investor should do that. Now, that's absolutely true. And it has one very good effect. Yeah. Because when you are in that ultra competitive environment, yeah. where you compete with your German, your French, your American, your Chinese competitors, yeah. trying to do the same type of products, you, ha you have to either cut costs more than your competitors, yeah. or you have a better product, better quality. And you know, Swiss made, the Swiss quality label yeah. is not something new. It has been around for a long, long time. And it is exactly the result of a strong Swiss franc. We had to be better than the others just to be able to sell our products. Yeah. And that's why somebody, if you are now in an, a, a purchaser in, in uh, America and you have an American good and you have a Swiss good. Exactly the same nominally, but the Swiss one is more expensive, but it has a better lifetime, a better quality. Uh, People like uh, quality. Better technology. People like quality on the long then term. They I are ready to, to spend absolutely. more money for high quality. They are ready to spend more money. Absolutely. So quality is key. High quality is key. And how to invest? In the, in the Swiss stock market. You have also here for the rule number one, diversification and in quality companies, high quality right. companies. Give some examples of high quality you, company. How, uh, first how of all, you can invest? invest, of course, into numerous ETFs on yeah. the SMI, which is the biggest index, the SLI, which is a slightly different index, a little bit like the Standard Poor's 500, yeah. um, and, and sector indices. That's an easy way of doing it and you get a Swiss franc exposure. Uh, you can very easily buy the main stocks. The, there are the SMI stocks over, in the index. The SMI stocks are just over 20 companies. Yeah. Uh, the SLI is about 30 companies. Um, so it's a, it's a relatively small um, market to choose from, yeah. but you have some big names. That's the nice For thing. example, as I said, Novartis, Roche and, and uh, Nestle. This is a must have uh, in each I portfolio. I think this is a must have in yeah, each it's portfolio. It's a hatching strategy, each portfolio Swiss. Franc. And all institutionals worldwide, yeah. if they invest in stocks, they certainly have Nestle and Roche and Novartis because it's just world heavyweights. They are in the, in the biggest uh, uh, world indices of, of uh, 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 retracing um, worldwide stocks. Yeah. But then you can, you, can buy, you can buy banking stocks. I mean, Credit Suisse and UBS are worldwide renowned banks, yeah, which are listed are here. The, yeah, but they are under pressure right now. They, they lost are so under much pressure. Value. But yeah. maybe it's a time to buy because yeah. it's cheap. It has been cheap for a while, but um, who knows? Okay. And what other um, uh, opportunities and international investments to invest? Uh, watches. Watches. I mean, Rolex, for small. example, is a good. Uh, well, Rolex you can't buy because yeah. it's privately no, it's held. Privately held. Uh -huh. you However, you watch. can buy Swatch. Yeah. Swatch is not only the Swatch watch. It is a, a, a string of high-profile luxury watches. Uh -huh. Or if you want a broader investment, it's Richemont. It's a, basically a South African company, yeah. but domiciled in Switzerland. And it has all the, the, the big brands like Piaget, Vacheron Constantin, and then also uh, uh, it has uh, an exposure to um, uh, fashion, to, to tobacco, yeah. uh, to other th things. So think about uh, uh, these companies. And chemical, the chemical companies. Also, in Basel companies, you can uh, you can buy Clariant. Uh, you can you can buy Lonza. Lonza. Has oh, Gerberit. Been... Gerberit is also a good company. Gerberit, company. Gerberit is Gerberit. a leader in uh, water management. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, you, you have, you can buy Linton Springley chocolate. Well, chocolate is maybe not essential, but it has been around for so long. Yeah. And people, especially when they are depressed by a <laughs> bad, yeah. bad, bad stock market, they might uh, uh, need a little push with, yeah. uh, with a dark chocolate. Lint is a very, has been a very, very good investment, by uh, the way, yeah. over the, the last 20 or 30 so, years. Now let's analyze somebody who has invested in the Swiss stock market. The Swiss stock market didn't perform very good. Why you are convinced that despite that it's a good investment? Well, you because know, of the Swiss franc or uh, explain? For, for two reasons. Yeah. The first, for the, for the Swiss franc, you need an exposure as an international investor to, uh, to, to a currency which has traditionally been a strong currency. You're yeah. going to make money even if the stocks are zero. If you do nothing, so you make money the by Swiss doing nothing. will go up. Just by okay. investing in Swiss And we have many ex such examples. Right. So. And then you are in a defensive environment. As I yeah. said, there's not many technology stocks in there. It's defensive. It's uh, uh, good quality, long-term holdings. That's yeah. exactly what you need in times where stock markets are a bit wobbly and a little bit uh, uh, highly valued. A good, good alternative, uh, yes. And um, uh, I think in today's environment to have a, a, a rather defensive um, uh, stock market uh, exposure is a good thing. Thank you very much, Olivier, for all Pleasure. this nice information. Information just like this cannot be found in universities, not in libraries and not in bibliotheques. If you like more information just like this, Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, press on the button below and ring the bell. By doing so, you will never miss a new video and you make sure you watch all our videos and you learn a lot of new things, how to better protect your assets and how to pay less tax. Thank you very much for being with us. Stay rich and be rich. I wish you a beautiful day.